So I have the uh, wonderful task of trying to summarize everything for the day, thanks Dr. Thies, uh, in, in, in a way that will not keep you too far from the reception that's about to take place. You know, it's funny, as I was listening to each of the speakers and jotting down a few notes, I couldn't help but think at the risk of oversimplifying, I'm, I've taught leadership in teams for years, and it struck me as I tried to summarize what are the major emerging themes from each of the speakers we heard from today, I ended up with, if I had a whiteboard, I'd draw a model of six functions of leadership, six things that leaders need to do. And as an educator, I believe that it's our responsibility as educators to hopefully prepare the next generation of leaders so that they can function in a business environment and in a global environment and be a force for good. So let me share with you what I thought the six uh, leadership lessons are that hopefully can shed some light. When we first started, Stephen talked about a partnership on AI, and he talked about the importance of debate and best practice and having a global voice, very much what leaders do. They encourage debate and dialogue and bring together many different diverse voices of skill and thought, a really good thought of leadership. So it's the academic, the advocate, the industry, the users, all of those people can inform uh, our discussion on AI, and there is a place at the table for all of us to have that conversation if we want to create that kind of environment. Paul and Carol then gave us the second lesson on leadership. They talked very much on how leaders enable good decisions to be made, ethical decision makings in healthcare. I was really struck by the very first comment where they talked about the function of core values that guide who we are as leaders and the decisions that we make. And a very interesting comment, and one that I've done my own work on, the, the relationship between the cultures we build in our organizations and how they either enable strategy or they become a constraint on strategy. So the ethical responsibility of leaders to create cultures that lead to good decisions. Um, Angelique, Darren, and Bill talked about AI as a powerful tool. And isn't that what leaders have? Powerful tools that they can use. AI is about this incredible amount of data that we have that can help us understand the world better, make faster decisions, create universes where data can actually improve healthcare. If we understand the use of technology, we can accelerate it. But as leaders, let's be careful that we don't go off course. Remember one of the speakers talking about if you're just 1% off, you miss the moon. So the importance of that human judgment when you're using tools becomes one of those strikes of leaders. Our fourth speaker was Danny Glay, who, put, who pulled together and talked about the, one of the most important values of leaders, the importance of developing trust. He talked about it in the context of how trust works when they're helping employers that, and their clients use information and data. And he talked about the importance of recognizing global and cultural differences and breaking down big data and breaking down the analytics behind it to test it. It struck me as a leadership lesson of, are we using total quality management? And really trying to understand the difference between compliance versus what is for the social good. Clearly another leadership tool. The fifth leadership lesson came from our panel of CEOs and social entrepreneurs who provided an entrepreneurial perspective that really talked about leaders and their ability to create community and connectedness. One of our speakers talked about it as democratization, that what big data and AI gives us is access to information. It's how we choose to share that and use open source, what actually could engage and democratize people's ability to take that information and again put in human judgment. It talked about the watchdog function of education, and AI is a way to build an engagement and using access to data for good. The sixth and last lesson of leadership I took from Brian's comments, and I was fascinated by the comment of moral de-skilling and an early comment he made where he said practice makes perfect. Ethical decision making is something he talks about that takes practice. In our College of Business, we've been talking about it in our strategic planning committee is how do we build moral courage in the next set of generation of business leaders. So those six lessons really give us a sense of how do we talk about ethical AI? How do we talk about it in terms of its challenges and implications? Maybe it's not a question of either or thinking, but it truly is a question of yes and thinking, which says that we have responsibilities of human beings to not lose judgment, human judgment, when we are managing and understanding AI. 
And then I will finish with one of my favorite comments. In fact, I think one, uh, it was Gemma who even said she's a Star Trek fan. So am I. So I guess the words of wisdom I have for all of the leaders taking these six lessons is beware the Borg. Certainly, the Borg presented a concept of great integrated teamwork. But let's not lose the values of the importance of leaders and how we manage those teams. Let's make sure that we give our teams and the humans in our organizations that ability to have moral courage, to have the agility to pivot when pivot is so critical. And in that, take this technology as a tool for human beings, not human beings being the tool of technology. I hope the conversation continues. I want to thank our sponsor, Children's Hospital, the Institute of Business Ethics and Sustainability, Dr. Jeff Thies, who put this wonderful group together. He had a lot of help in this room. Too many staff members to, to mention, but you'll see them moving around and helping you feel comfortable. Thanks for attending. We hope this will be one of many conversations that we do as part of the College of Business's commitment to business as a force for good. Thank you.